Father Eustine made this amazing tuna pizza. Now it's an old Bulgarian recipe that is found in a book in Bulgarian restaurants. And you might be wondering, tuna pizza, what? You have no idea what you're missing out. Here are all the ingredients we will be using for this recipe to make this tuna pizza. Head on over to Father Eustine's YouTube channel to watch him in this full length video in Bulgarian. Father Eustine starts us off with two and a quarter cups, which is 17 kilograms of organic all-purpose flour in a bowl, sprinkling about one and a half teaspoons of salt and one teaspoon of dry yeast. Taking three-fourths cup of 175 milliliters of warm water, quarter cup of raw milk, 50 milliliters, then adding it to the flour mixture. Add one heaping tablespoon of mayonnaise, one whole egg, and two tablespoons of sunflower oil to the flour mixture and start combining all ingredients together by hand until it binds all together. And now you have to knead the dough for about 20 minutes by hand. You could use a stand mixer. However, it's time to put your muscles to the test and knead it yourself for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, go ahead and pinch the bottom of the dough in this fashion. In a bowl, sprinkle flour and place the dough right in the center, making a little plus, and cover with saran wrap and set aside for 20 minutes. In the meantime, we can make our tomato sauce, which is one large house tomato diced up and placed in the blender for 45 seconds until it has blended well. Slice one large organic yellow onion, very thin, but we're only going to use half of this large onion. Open a can of skipjack tuna and drain the liquid well until the tuna is somewhat dry. Basically what we're gonna do is take the dough and we're gonna knead it for two or three more minutes. And then divide the dough in half. You can either make two pizzas out of this or make a bread loaf with the other half of this. Continue to punch down the dough to get rid of any air pockets. And now it's time for Father Eustine to show us a trick. Kids, try this at home, but make sure you catch it. Or your parents will get a little upset. Place it back on the counter and continue to stretch out the dough with your hands, using your knuckles to press down as well and flatten it out. You want about a half an inch thick. Prepare a baking pan with sunflower oil as the base of the pan and add your dough to it and continue to press down while inside the baking pan. The first ingredient to add is your slivered onions and give it a good amount of separation within each onion. Next, let's go ahead and top off the onion with tomato puree, covering but not drenching the dough with the tomato puree. Cover throughout the pizza one can of slapjack tuna. And after you apply the whole can, press down on the tuna lightly 
pressing it against the dough. And now add a good amount of shredded mozzarella cheese. Sprinkle on some oregano. Drizzle a light amount of sunflower oil all over the pizza. And bake it in a preheated oven of 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 to 30 minutes or until golden brown as desired. Let it cool down 5 to 10 minutes in the baking pan and then remove it from the pan on a cutting board and let it cool down for another five minutes. Wow, look at that mouth-watering pizza. Can it really get any better than this? Well, that just wraps up today's episode. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, and share with your friends and family, and that bell. Click on that bell so that you're notified when my next videos upload. And until next time, keep on rocking.